Hey YouTube, Rocket Ross here again. Um, today we're going to be looking at a basic tutorial on how to do slow motion shots and speed up gameplay which you want to fast forward. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll jump straight in um, open up Sony Vegas 9. Um, I found a clip here uh, which is just a random clip of me uh, sniping someone across the map. Um, I put it on mute um, just to make the video a bit better. First of all, I've done the basic effects by taking out the black lines around the film and added my four or five video effects to make the picture look quality. You can see those in my previous video. Um, so what you're going to need to do is find the spot where you want to do the slow motion for like a snipe or a semtex throw or something like that. Uh, this is the point here on my video that I found it. So what you need to do is first of all um, if the video and the audio is joined together you need to go down to group and click remove from which I've already done so it's not a problem um, then when you get to here and you found the spot where you want to split it you just need to press S on the keyboard like that and it will split the video and then you go down and click on the same line and split the audio so that's the point where we're going to do the slow motion um, so then what you need to do is just grab the top bar and just find out where the end of the um, shot is. Mine's about there where the one shot kills come up on the screen up here. So you, what you need to do is you need to press S again and that splits it and split the top part. So at that point now we'll just move that over there. This is the section here that we want to extend. So if you put your cursor into the bottom corner of the video and hold control you'll see a little squiggly line come up. Uh, that means you're now able to extend or shrink the video. So what you need to do is left click whilst holding control and pull all the way to the right like this. And do the same on the audio to match that. So that's about the length that I want that shot to be. Uh, if you just leave the audio, the audio as it is, it'll sound quite funny, the sniper sound going off. So what you need to do is right click and go down to properties and then um, tick this box here which says lock to stretch. So click that and click OK. That'll make the weapons like the intervention and uh, especially the 50 cal um, sound really deep and bassy uh, when in slow motion. So that's the first thing we need to do. Um, the first part of the video here I just showed, just added this on here. Um, this bit's boring, it's basically me just looking around and then away in a claymore just to make sure there's um, no little sneaky bastards coming up behind me to um, get me. So nobody really wants to see that because it's pretty boring. So what you do is you do the same thing, you go to the bottom left corner of this video, press control and we want to shrink it, we want to speed this bit up, probably to usually about half the length of what the video originally started at, so about here like that and then again do the same with the audio so that bit's going to be now speeded up to double speed so if you pull this to match on there like that and the rest of the video will just have in um, normal speed, that part there so it's going to go fast, into slow motion, then into normal mode. Um, one other effect I like to use, especially if it's a headshot or a real, or like a, maybe a collateral, is you if you click on this here, the event pan crop button, and you find the marker on this bottom of the timeline here where it actually comes up showing one shot kill. There it's coming in now, about there. Um, what I do is you make a marker, double click on the timeline there, and then you find the last part of where it shows one shot kill it's about here, double click again on this marker now what you want to do is you want to grab the picture and zoom right into where it says one shot kill like so especially if it's a, you know, a triple collateral or something like that it's going to look really good um, so you leave that as it is and then just do one more marker at the back of it like that and then reset to your normal, mine's YouTube high quality, that'll set it back to the original size, there we go, it's gone back around <coughs> so that's that part done uh, usually at the end of videos uh, you may have more uh, montages here, I like to just do a little fade out like that, just so it makes it look a bit more professional there we go, so the audio and the video is faded out um, if you've got any questions um, that you want to ask me, just leave a comment or send me a message in my inbox or if there's any other part of the editing that you want me to explain using Sony Vegas 9, again, just leave a comment. And that's really it for today. Um, so comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.